like a bell cut. Hello boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm Obscuity and Joe BT and today we have here a very strange name to pronounce and I'm not sure if I'm going to be right saying that like that but it's called Abzu. Abzu is developed by the giant squid and it makes use of Unreal Engine 4. So we are here taking a look on the settings uh, and yeah, you might be a little bit shocked but we are running this game at exactly that resolution with the lowest settings possible. Well, don't get me wrong, the display resolution is the native. You are going to feel like that you are playing a game at the native resolution but the rendering resolution is exactly that. So yeah, we are getting back to the times of PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 resolution. <laughs> yeah, it's actually pretty, pretty bad. But uh, you might kill me before saying that. But it, it is actually not that bad. Because the game can, and despite being on most settings, okay, the game is actually beautiful. Okay, this is uh, the, the point. But uh, it was the only way that we have to, to at least have some stable FPS's to play. Not even stable because the frame rate many times go lower than uh, than 25 FPS's and sometimes even lower than 20's, okay? But this is a game where there is no action. You don't need to shoot anyone. You don't need to fight anyone. You don't need to do anything that might hurry up your movements. This is a, an exploration game exactly like the journey. Okay, I'm not sure if you know the giant squid, the giant, the giant squid, uh, this is their first game, okay, but some elements of the giant squid already worked out on the journey, on the journey, which was a great PlayStation 3 exclusive, uh, where you need to explore the deserts, and they were the producers, there are people there that produce the flower too, okay, so that is a game on Steam that is actually follows more or less the same thing, so this game, in my opinion, is mostly exactly like the journey but instead of uh, taking place on a desert you are taking place underwater so if you miss the exclusive of the desert of the of the journey uh, you can actually play this game which is underwater but you can actually play this game and feel like you are playing the journey Th that's the nice thing about this game is exactly that so as you can see, despite the game being on the lowest settings possible and despite the game being at this awful resolution, uh, it can still be pretty. I mean, the flowers are here, are completely interactive with the environment. I almost have an orgasm every time the flowers move around. Uh, look at this. Well, it's a little bit running slow, okay? And, well, to keep that in mind, I'm recording this with MS Afterburner okay and this takes a big impact on the frame rate so if you want to check the frame rate without recording you have there on the upper right corner a square or i mean the rectangle a green rectangle same frame rate if you press there it's going to take you to a place on the video where i discuss the frame rate and i show you the, the results without recording which are the results that you are going to get okay this is the results that you are seeing here this is the frame rate that you that i'm getting recording and keep that in mind that in this game somehow is taking a big impact on performance okay so keep that in mind so what can i tell about the game <laughs> it's basically this this is completely astonishingly beautiful you can meditate and watch the fishes i'm not sure if this is uh, real fishes or, or not but this is a very pretty aquarium to, to look at at my screen my screen is nothing special it's uh, this is this is a, a low end as a screen but it's still very beautiful to watch okay so that's all i want to talk about abzu i know that i didn't talk too much about the game it's hard to explain this is basically exploration you just need to go forward the, through the map it's uh, for now it's linear but it's astonishingly beautiful so i think only you can just this game just by looking at the videos okay so that's all hope you're going to like the rest of the video and hope to see you soon goodbye
Hello boys and girls, welcome back to the performance section of the video and as you can see Abzu running at that, oh my god, resolution and at the lowest settings what we have here is actually a minimum of 17, an average of 29, at least that, and a maximum of 48. So yeah, the game runs like crap, there are sequences that runs a little bit lower than 20s, but we can see that most of the game seems to, to run mostly between 20s and 30s, which is not ideal, but I think I, I will give a pass uh, in the performance of this game, just because, well, you don't need to shoot anyone, you don't need to fight anyone, there is no worry, uh, there is no worry to, to go fight or to, to do uh, quick movements, uh, so it's just that, you just need to go around the sea, so I, I don't think that you require a very big frame rate to play this game and to enjoy its beauty. Even despite that resolution, the game still is beauty, just beautiful, just like I told. So as you can see on the consistency, 60% of the frames will be lower than 30s, 30% will be lower than 25, and 5% of the frames will be lower than 20 frames. So the VRAM usage since the resolution was so lower, the VRAM usage stand, stood still at 1.1 GB of VRAM usage, I got 4 GB of RAM got used, I think this game should run uh, at um, laptops like this with 4 gigabytes of RAM. The CPU usage was fine and uh, this is a curious thing over here. I got bottleneck, this is not usual and it happens too on my desktop. I think there might be something wrong with this game performance or a pipeline of performance and I believe that this might get fixed either way. I was, impre I was not really shocked uh, with the fact of being bottlenecked on my desktop, it's something that uh, sometimes happens, my desktop CPU is very old, but happening on this laptop is quite shocking, especially because NVIDIA DirectX 11 drivers usually make miracles regarding the bottlenecks. And so I think that yes, despite I think that it's a problem with the CPU, I think that might be a little bit lack of optimization around this game, okay? But apart from that, the game plays and feels awesome, it's very relaxing, like I told you for the 1000th time right now. And I think if you like this type of games, I think you should buy it, because despite the way it runs, uh, it actually feels nice to play it. Okay, so that's all. Hope you did enjoy this video, and hope to see you soon. Cheers. Goodbye.